Okay. Um, clearly, the weather in 2009 was fantastic. Were these easy wines to make? Well, I think for this year, for some people, it was fantastic. And the other people in Margot, they are not so lucky because they had a lot of hail. Okay. And uh, luckily, we had uh, no hail here. And so uh, that was a, a good thing in spring for us. And uh, I remember for the flowering uh, time, it was a, on a very short time. It was always very good for the quality. Mm -hmm. So if the sh flowering time is very short, so everything is ripe and then with a good maturity on the harvest. So I think that's the reason, one of the reasons that we make a very good uh, vintage to, uh, this year. Excellent. Well, last year, I'm sorry. So if you had to compare this vintage 2009 to, to previous vintages, what is it most similar to? Well, I think uh, it's uh, a little bit special in Bordeaux, so because uh, every vintage is different, but if you want to compare it with another vintage, it's a little bit... Uh, Different, but a little bit similar with uh, 2005. Okay. And finally, do you think the wines live up to their hype? Uh, is the, sorry, the question... Uh, do the wines I... live up to their reputation? They're already billed as a great, great vintage. Well, I think it's a very great, uh, it's a great vintage, but uh, give a little bit time for tasting and uh, when the wine is on a good mature, I think we have a very, very good... Uh, a very big year uh, with 2009, yes, I'm Excellent. sure. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, thank, thank you. you.